Tonight, I'll be talking to one of the most influential figures of the folk revival, Martin Carthy. Martin Carthy. The great Martin Carthy. Sie können heute Folk and Blues Musik hören, Arne Domneus aus Schweden. Und jetzt kommen aus England Martin Carthy und Dave Swarbrick mit Solvay. Solvay, Solvay, oh, 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 the day. And there was this fiddle player, and he was called Dave Swarbrick, yeah. and we hit it off immediately. We worked together for about mm -hmm. three or four years, and uh, we had a fantastic time. I'd just come across that so song, um, Hawkstow Grange, and I said, oh, it's a fabulous name in there. This bloke's called Steel Ice Band, and Tim said, that's a good name for a group. Oh, I resent the idea that a person who cannot read is an idiot. A person who cannot read is in the darkness. Now, if the common man was indeed in the dark, then it's remarkable what he managed to achieve. And if it's remarkable what one can achieve from nothing without books, then that in itself is the wonder of tradition. There's a king and a glorious king, a king and a king of noble fame. He the daughter of fair and bright. Lady Dizzy was her name, sing all Dizzy was her name. I always think of, 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 of Mike as being one of the really supreme inventors. His real musical genius lay in his singing and what he could do with this absolutely stupendous birth, uh, birth control. Breath control. <laughs> Try again, Martin. <laughs> he didn't have any birth control. He had hundreds of kids. Yeah, he's four got kids. four kids. He could bring to set me free, free. For to save my body from the cold jail wall and me neck from the high gallows tree. I've no God. And I've no I'd like you to welcome to the folk song seller Martin Carthy. Oh, I've lived a long time, Mary, in this old house, me dear, and for the winter whistle like that I never did hear. But mother, you know, the fiddle hangs close beside the chink, and the wind upon the strings is playing a tune, I think, with me fonder la la la. Fonder la la la, fonder la la la, fonder la la la. Give us a song. 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 He's, you know, sitting in the corner of the troubadour, listening um, to you play. Give us a little well, burst of Scarborough. Well, he didn't really come to the fair. troubadour. He, he, Where, he wherever was, you were playing. Well, he was... No, he, he didn't Where's come... Scarborough Where Scarborough Where did you... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme. Remember me to one who lives there For once she was a true love of mine What advice did you give her when it was obvious it was going to be serious and this was going to become a career? Do you really want to know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My advice to her was never shag the band. <laughs> And and I am serious. <laughs> anybody, it's good anybody? advice. It is very, very good advice. As I walked out on a moonlit night when the moon shone bright and clearly, I met with a blue-eyed girl and she looked at me, surprising we had Rurira, fun little Rurira. Somebody said you should get Martin to sing that. Yeah. Ho ho ho. Did you know it beforehand? Did sure. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, I was a huge Slade fan. Yeah. You know. Like you? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that you weren't well, tempted to get a mirrored top hat. Uh... <laughs> well, they kept trying to fit me. They, they kept, kept trying to fit me up. <laughs> Come on, feel the noise. Girls, grab your boys. We'll get Come on, feel the noise. 
Girls, grab your boys. We'll go. Wild, wild, wild. Remember my uh, dear departed former Radio 1 producer, John Walters? <laughs> Whenever right. you did Famous Flower for either myself or for John Peel, <laughs> you would always find Walters standing by the tape recorder in the office going, hmm. Makes it up as he goes along, you know. <laughs> Gets longer every time he does it. <laughs> Pretty bird, come sing it plain. Oh, it was her mother's deadly spite, for she sent thieves in the dark of the night. They come to rob, they come to slay. They made their sport, they went their way. And Nine minutes and forty, Martin. Was it? Oh, Freddie, I've broken the record. I've let you down. <laughs> <laughs> we were hoping to crack the eleven minute, minute barrier tonight. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> if I give up the seat I've been saving to some elderly lady or man, have I been a good boy? Am I your pride and joy, mother? Please, if you please, say I am. Folk club, I saw Seamus Ellis playing the Ilium Pipes and wondered what the hell that was. I, I knew what bagpipes were, I thought that was Scottish, mm. but he was playing this other thing that looked like he was wrestling an octopus. It was absolutely astonishing. <laughs> it really did, it was absolutely amazing. With nice pajamas on. Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what was the octopus wearing? <laughs> this feeling inside me could never deny me the right to be wrong if I choose. The pleasure I get from say winning a pet is to lose Martin Carthy was the man who taught Bob Dylan the tune for Bob Dylan's Dream and Paul Simon how to play Scarborough Fair. His weird and wonderful guitar tunings give his interpretation of folk songs a certain magic. And there she found a dear jewel in the Granville Briar, where his body they thrown. The reason we decided to do this tour was that in 1968, 1969, if anybody can remember back that far, everybody and his brother was doing a farewell tour, and we just thought we'd be different, didn't we? Well, it's the spinners, really, isn't it? Yes, I'm afraid, yes, down to the spinners. We did, we're, the only people who weren't doing farewell tours at the time were the spinners and us. So we, we, we made a vow between us that we wouldn't do, a, we, we wouldn't do a, a farewell tour until the spinners did one. And now they've just done one. So now it's our turn. We made the little drummer as fat as a shoe. We made a football of his rowdy down do. Sergeant the corporal, we knocked out the two. While we were the boys of the morning. And as for the weapon that hung by their side, we flung them as far as we could in the tide. Devil go with you, says Arthur McBride. First pull in our walk in the morning. And then I saw this man, Sam Lana, and I was just, I walked away walking on air. I just never heard anything like it in my life. That was the moment which decided what I was going to do. So later on, I started this process of, of trying to find a way of, of playing this music, which I found so exciting. Martin Carthy, good night. <laughs>